The performance panel is a grid that lets you play, loop, and automatically synchronize multiple audio and MIDI clips. It lets you assemble music easily and quickly, and as you'll see, it's a lot of fun to use. The basic idea is that clips can be dragged and dropped into the grid locations. Each horizontal track row works just like a regular track in MixCraft. The vertical columns are organized into what we call sets, and each one of these sets can play a different set of loops. Let's have a look at how it works. First you'll want to make sure that you have some tracks opened. The performance panel works with audio tracks and MIDI tracks, but for now we're just going to use audio tracks. To view the performance panel, click on the performance panel button right here, and then we'll open up the library so we can grab some audio clips and drag them into performance panel locations. First I'm going to grab a drum beat, and we can preview loops by pressing the little triangle here. I'm going to drag and drop this loop into the first location right here. And this window is asking us if we want to adjust the project tempo to match the loop. So we'll say yes. And we can see our project tempo is now 91. And if I press play right here, there's our loop. Now I'm going to drag in some more loops to create a track. You can preview loops and drag in more while the performance panel is still playing. You'll notice here that Mixcraft has actually changed the key of this female choir loop to match my project. I've got four loops playing at once now, and you can see the little lines going across the waveforms. They're going at different rates, and this is because the loops are different lengths. But that's okay, because Mixcraft still has everything synchronized. You can stop the playback of the entire performance panel by pressing the stop button up here, or by pressing stop in the transport. You can also stop playback for individual clips in a row by pressing the little stop buttons right here. You can resume the playback by clicking the play button on the clip. And if you have empty cells in the horizontal row next to a clip, these also function as stop buttons just like the ones over here. Now let's say I want to make a new set with some variations. I'm going to keep the same beat, and I'm going to alt drag the speed over here to duplicate it. Let's say I want to use the same bass part. And we can go back to the library and drag in some more loops. That'll work. Now let's say I want to switch back to set one. I can just press the play arrow over here and set one starts playing. You might have noticed that when I changed sets, Mixcraft didn't immediately make the switch. It waited until the end of the bar, then switched right on the beat. You can tell Mixcraft how to change from one set to another using the Q parameter right here. Right now I have it set to one bar, and this means that Mixcraft waits until the end of the bar and then makes the switch immediately on the beat. When you set the Q parameter to any of these note values, it means that Mixcraft waits until the next increment of any of these values until it makes the switch. One bar works out pretty well for most applications. And if you're set to instant, Mixcraft reacts really quickly. Right now I only have three sets in the performance panel, but you can add more by clicking the add button up here. And you can also expand the view by hovering on this line right here, and you'll see the cursor turns into horizontal arrows. And if we move that over, I can see the additional sets that I'm adding. You can also rename the sets by double-clicking on them. It should also be mentioned that all the controls in the track list work just as they do on regular tracks in Mixcraft. So if I'm playing back a set, I can mute, solo, 
adjust volume, pan, and so forth. The performance panel works just as well with MIDI clips as it does with audio clips. Here I've recorded a two-bar phrase using the Lounge Lizard Virtual Electric Piano. I can simply drag and drop it into a cell in the performance panel, and now it works just like any other clip.